I would say we are ready to start. Um, of course, uh, once again, if you have any questions on the academic offering, the, uh, the master programs at Hanken, feel free to write your, uh, your questions in the Q&A box. And if you have any, perhaps, um, any information that you, you'd like to ask about the admissions process, about the, um, the student life at Hanken, we are here, uh, here to help you and to give you some more insight into what Hanken is offering to international students. So once again, hello and welcome. And I would like to leave the floor to um, Natalia. So uh, thank you once again, and the floor is yours, Natalia. Uh, yes, hi, thank you, Lavinia. And uh, great to see all of you here today on or tonight on our webinar about studies in Finland and about studies in Hanken. Um, it's really great that you decided to dedicate your afternoon to listening on what Hanken has to offer uh, to international students and also what Finland as a country can offer to international students coming from abroad. Uh, so let me start by maybe sharing a little bit of in, uh, input of what study in Finland is and what you, what Finland as the country is about just a few small mentions that actually Santa Claus lives here in Finland. So in case you're a big fan of Christmas, so it's the right country for you, definitely. Uh, and also Finland is the happiest country in the world. Uh, it has been ranked number one already for five years in a row. Uh, so definitely there is a reason behind that as well. Uh, me personally, think I think that it might be because Finns eat most of the ice cream in the world. It's about 13 kilograms per year. And also uh, people in Finland drink a lot of coffee. It's like one of the biggest percentage of uh, coffee kilograms per person per year. Uh, but of course, not only that is great about living in Finland and about living in Helsinki and Vasa, where uh, Hankin has two uh, units. Uh, it's really great that Finland can offer to all students. And also then if you stay as employee or international talent here in Finland, you get to have work-like balance. And it's not a marketing thing to say. It's totally true. It's uh, most of people living in Finland. They do also a part of the work. They have diverse hobbies. And also as a grown-up, you get to have a lot of hobbies because there are a lot of different communities for everything you can think of, uh, like from running clubs up to knitting, knitting clubs or cooking classes or anything. It's all there for you to keep up with your mm, both work and life. Uh, and of course, it's more for people working in the working life, but also as a student, you get to experience both studies and student life and also life as a, life as it is as a normal person in Finland. And of course, if you have ever installed any mm, mobile play on your phone maybe angry birds uh then you need to know that they come actually from finland and uh, finland is home of supercell and rovia who are the biggest uh, one of the main mobile app games uh, producers in the whole world uh so it's definitely something for you and actually supercell does have an office not very far away from hanken in helsinki if you are actually go from Hankin accommodation, their own building that Hankin has to uh, Hankin campus in Helsinki, you will pass by the supercell building. Mm. Uh, what Finland offers for international students, it's not only, of course, that it's the happiest country in the world and a lot of ice cream, uh, but it's a, a very, very clear and transparent visa application process for the students. Uh, so once you have been admitted to Hankin, uh, you need just to book an appointment in the embassy on the consulate of Finland in the country where you are located yourself or maybe in the country where the embassy is the closest one to you and the document package is also very very clear and and uh, usually all the permits for students are are seen by the immigration service as urgent so we of course from our side always encourage our students to apply uh as early as possible once you have received your offer of admission but in all years i don't think we have ever had a problem with a student not coming to orientation days because the visa process has been delayed uh, also the students uh through the student union get a, a health care which is a almost for almost free for the students and also via the student union you get to have other student benefits such for for example such as uh, sport facilities there is a, it's very 
very very affordable to be to become a sportsman here in Finland so to say if you're a student uh, and also the sub the travel card for all the local transportation is subsidized you will pay only 50 percent of the full price and of course uh, Finland and Hanken is doing a lot of things to help students to find accommodation and in recent years Hanken has uh, done a very big effort for example on building our own uh, house in, in Helsinki and we have one house of our own and also we have a shared house with University of Applied Science he here in the Helsinki region. Uh, what is also very new and what we are also happy about that is that since uh, April this year 2022 all students coming to Finland receive the residence permit that is valid for the whole study period so for example in Hamken you study for a two years master's program so you may receive the residence permit for the whole two years which means for you that it's less bureaucracy of course and also less uh, money payments because you will not need to apply for the um, renewal of your residence permit and also of course it gives you more flexibility for example when you plan your summer internship before your first or second year um, and also it, it um, doesn't that because bureaucracy pro questions are very sometimes disturbing but one now you can avoid all this disturbance for two years and also a very good thing that uh, has been several years already and implemented several years back that after the studies and after the graduation you receive a residence permit for job search for and this residence permit is valid for one year uh, and usually most of our students they do receive a job offer within the six months after the graduation uh yes uh so briefly about Hanken and if you then yeah if you have any questions about Finland then do please ask now in the chat and we will take them up in the questions and answers session then uh but now to Hanken uh which, which we are talking about today uh Hanken was founded in 1909 uh it's the one of the oldest university level business schools in the Nordics and also one of the oldest universities in Finland uh Hanken has obtained uh university status in 1927 and uh, since 1980, uh, Hanken is located in two cities in Finland, in Helsinki, uh, which is the capital of Finland, and also in Vasa, which is uh, considered to be energy capital of the north. And you, as an international student, may study and may apply to a master's program both in Helsinki and in Vasa. So, for example, today with us we have Aina, and she is actually a master's student from Vasa. Uh, and also, Hanken is very, very proud to, of um, quality education and, uh, that we offer to all students, and, and this um, uh, quality education is proved by uh, the accreditations we hold. So we have three accreditations, Equis, AMBA, and ASASB, and only 1% business schools in the whole world uh, has this triple crown. Uh, and since 2016, uh, master's program from Hanken is ranked by Financial Times and it our program landed on number 62 this year 2022 and also the research done at Hanken is also ranked by Umulti Rank Ranking which um, shows the citation rate and subtitled publication on the joint publication on the international joint publications uh, so you when, when you study at Hanken you may be sure that it's the quality education and it's also a research-based education. Research -based education. Um, so why should you actually choose Hanken? So career perspective are very high for Hanken graduates. According to our latest uh, survey, we, our, 81 of our graduates find a job within six months after graduation. And it's of course a quality education and tight community at, at Hanken and very close connection to business world. Uh, also, uh, one more reason I will mention just in a minute. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, Hanken is located in two places in Finland, but it's one university. So whether you choose to study in Helsinki or in Vasa, you will get best time of your student years and also best possible education. Uh, studying in Helsinki will mean for you that you will study in the capital of Finland. It's a very clean and safe city and uh, very well, comfortable living because nature is integrated with the city. It only actually it takes only 10 minutes walk from Hanken uh, building in 
Helsinki to walk, for example, to the sea shore. Um, uh, and um, maybe if you really would like to go to the woods to, for mushroom picking, you, you will only need to take some bus maybe for 15 minute stops. Um, it's also very good transportation. And uh, if you decide to live a little bit further away from the city center, it doesn't mean that you will need to spend hours in the uh, uh, in the traffic or in the like transportation. It only usually takes up to half an hour to 40 minutes, independently where you live. Uh, and of course, affordable student housing. And in Helsinki, you will get to uh, experience vibrant social scene for students because there are three major universities and several polytechnics in the area. And uh, for example, our student union is very active and uh, organizes the, uh, diverse events with the student unions of other universities as well. Uh, and Vasa is the second largest student city in the country. And there, statistically, every fifth person is a student. So, which means all, and there are a lot of more, actually more than three universities there and several polytechnics there as well. Ah, six, yes. Thank you, Aina. So that means that it's even more uh, a vibrant student life. And, uh, but also the Vasa is a smaller city, the career possibilities there are quite high because uh, Vasa is the energy capital of the North and the energy industry is, uh, rising there so there is always an opportunity for everybody and of course as it's the second largest city in the country student city in the country there are very good affordable options for students housing uh so yes one of the reasons why i want to, didn't take it as one of the reasons to like to choose hankin because i think it deserved the own slide and I'll, even like i think the whole like all own webinar as well is our hankin international talent initiative which is created uh, to uh, support international talents coming to Finland to integrate into the working life uh, already during studies. And uh, through this initiative, you will help, you will create your own network that will help you to, uh, to find job possibilities and also to really know people and really know to know their, your future employees uh, because, so that that's way you will also know what what do you need what skills are needed for example on the market and what more courses or maybe you need to con concentrate something more on practical level uh this all what this all and or many many more things we do through the hankin international talent initiative and it gives you a possibility to gain work experience both via case studies and or internships and uh, biggest companies uh, like internationally known are probably Pevasa and KPMG, but also Fatser and Wärtsilä. Uh, Fatser is the biggest confectionery producer here in Finland, and Wärtsilä is also known all over the world. They have been uh, partnering with Hanken since the very program start in 2017. And actually, Hanken was the, um, the pioneer university in Finland to create this kind, kind of international talent management program for international students. So, because Finland is a really in need of uh, international labor, and there are not enough people here in Finland, and there are a lot of things to do here in Finland. So we are really looking forward to receive a lot of international students to Finland, to Hanken, and we of course all hope that you will stay here as well. Uh, okay, that is all for my part. So now I will change slides for Linnea. Uh, so Linnea, just comment when I should change. Yes, so hi, also from my side, happy to be here to tell you about the admission process and the requirements today. So next slide, please. Um, so here is the different programs that we offer at Hanken. Uh, we have subjects in more quantitative field, economics, finance, accounting and governance and commercial law. Um, and then uh, intellectual property law, um, and then more uh, business related in humanitarian logistics, international strategy and sustainability, marketing, and then in VASA we have marketing and management. Uh, what is interesting about the um, programs in economics, finance and accounting is that you can also uh, if you study one of these subjects, you can apply also to take part in the QTEM network and get a QTEM certificate. 
The QTIM network is a global network um, where you also spend one semester at another QTIM university and you have a quantitative internship and um, also uh, take part in a global business challenge. challenge but, uh, but yeah, the greatest thing is you get this global global network uh, by taking part in, part in this. So that's something you apply to after you are admitted. Uh, then an additional uh, aspect to the program in international strategy and sustainability is that there's also the possibility to do a double degree with Emlyon Business School in France. This is something that you uh, apply to at the same time as uh, you submit your general uh, application to Hanken. And um, there are the requirements are a bit higher to the double degree, but we, we would very much like to have applicants also to that. So next slide. Um, at Hanka, we have two admission periods. Uh, we have the rolling admission that starts on the 1st of November and ends in the, on the 28th of April next year. Um, and then the, the main admission is, is shorter and starts on the 30th of November and ends on the 18th of January. Next slide. So you might be wondering what's then the difference between rolling and main admission. Um, I decided to print them side by side so you can actually see the difference uh, do, uh, concerning the different requirements. Um, when it comes to rolling admission, this is a fast track admission. Uh, as an applicant, you receive the results in around three weeks after submitting your applications. application and um, uh, to this uh, admission round, you can only apply based on a de degree obtained outside Finland. And uh, the admission requirements are higher due to the fast track option. And uh, this option, the rolling admission is only open for four of our programs that are, uh, that is the humanitarian logistic program, international strategy and sustainability, marketing, and then marketing and management. Uh, in the main admission, uh, you can apply to all programs that I presented earlier. And uh, the admission process is, includes several steps. Uh, for example, uh, an academic evaluation of your educational background, which means that the process is longer and you get your results by the end of March annually. And in both admission rounds, the students, if you apply for a scholarship, uh, if you're, you're a fee-paying student, tuition fee-paying student, you also get the, the scholarship decision at the same time with your admission result. I'll talk later more about scholarships. So next slide, please. So first, language requirements. Um, we requirement that require applicants to take uh, one of the listed languages, so TOEFL, Yields Cambridge uh, Advanced or Proficiency or PT Academic, or then the Finnish National Certificate of Language Proficiency, UKI test in English on level five. Or uh, then if you have an, a degree that is obtained in, in English language in Australia, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, or the United States, you are exempted from taking a language test. And on the slide, you see the minimum scores that are required, and the test results can uh, must be no no more than two years old for for the test to be accepted. Um, when it comes to the main admission, all tests must be taken before the end of the admission, uh, the application period, so before the 18th of January 2023. And in the rolling admission, you must have test results already when you submit the application. So next, next slide. Then I'll talk about uh, the requirements concerning your degree and previous studies. Uh, in the rolling admission, um, you must have a degree, uh, a bachelor's degree with the major subject in business administration and or economics uh, from a recognized university or then a university of applied sciences 
which is located outside uh, side Finland, as I already said. If your degree doesn't have this bachelor uh, in business administration and and or economics title, um, you can still apply if your degree includes at least 80 ECTS uh, credits uh, in studies in business administration and or economics. In the main admission, um, you can apply based on any any kind of degree uh, as long as you have bachelor or master's degree from a recognized university of university of applied sciences uh, as long as you have at least 30 ECTS in subjects relevant for uh, your desired master's program so you can also have a different kind of uh, bachelor's degree and then for example have completed 30 ECTS uh, through open university studies or something similar as long as the courses are from a recognized university or university of applied sciences so what does recognized mean that i'm talking about so much um, that means that the institution is a recognized part of the official national education system of the country in question so it has to be accredited as a degree granting higher education normally it's by the ministry in the country or then also by relevant international organizations such as UNESCO. So next slide, please. Then we come to the uh, qualitative requirements, uh, which is the GMAT, GRE test, or then a GPA, sufficient GPA. Here we have two different groups. The group one are applicants who are applying based on a degree obtained in the EU or EEA or Switzerland. And or then you have if you have a degree from a Hanken partner university for exchange. Uh, if you belong to this group in the main admission, you must have a GPA of at least B on the US grading scale. We have a conversion uh, tool on our web page. Uh, or then if you don't fulfill the requirement of sufficient GPA, you must have 550 in GMAT or then in uh, equal minimum score in GRE. We accept both the, uh, the so-called home test and then the test center test of this GMAT and GRE. In the rolling admission, as I said, the requirements are higher. So there you have to have a GPA of a minimum of B plus on the US grading scale, or then at a result in GMAT or GRE of 600. So if you don't belong to this group, uh, but you belong to the group of applicants who are applying based on a degree obtained in a country outside the e EU, e e EU, EAA, it should say, you belong to group A, uh, group two, and in the main admission, that means that uh, you can't prove your yourself through a GPA, a sufficient GPA, but you must take the GMAT or GRE test and, res uh, and get a result of at least 550. Uh, in the rolling admission, Again, you must have 600 in GMAT or GRE to, for, for, your, for, for the result to be sufficient. And here are the same deadlines. So in the main admission, uh, it, you must take the test no later than 18th of January 2023. And in the rolling admission, you must have already access to the result when you submit your application. So you can submit the result with your application. Yes, so next slide, please. Um, here I have listed all the enclosures just so you get an overview. Um, as I already talked about, you need to have a bachelor or master's degree. So you attach your, your certificate of diploma and possible translations if the documents are not issued in English, Swedish or Finnish. And uh, then official transcript of records, a diploma supplement if you already graduated and you have one, and again, possible translations. Then the official GMAT or GRS test score if you already have it when you submit your application for the rolling admission, this is mandatory. And uh, 
if you belong to the group one who can prove their uh, or fulfill the quality of the requirement by a sufficient GPA, you, you can submit a se separate certificate of GPA if it's not visible on your transcript. And then a certificate of English language proficiency that is either a language test score or then um, if you have a degree from in English from one of the six country the countries that we accept. Um, and then a photo photocopy of your passport and also if you happen to have a residence permit in Finland that extends you from tuition fees, uh, you should also attach that, a copy of that and then a CV but that's a voluntary attachment. Um, part of the application form there is also a motivational questionnaire which you fill in when you submit your application, so you don't need to submit a separate motivation letter. Next slide, please. So fees and funding. So I guess this is interesting if when I follow the questions in the in the chat. So for if you're a, a EU or EEA citizen, the studies are free of charge. Uh, for non-EU or EA students or citizens, um, there is a tuition fee, uh, which at Hanken is 12,500 euros uh, a year. Um, applying for a scholarship will not affect your application in general, so do, do apply for a scholarship if you are uh, subject to tuition fees otherwise. Uh, all scholarships at Hanken are merit-based, um, so we award scholarships based on your previous academic excellence um, in, in, in your previous studies, so, and also applicable test scores if av available. Um, there is, of course, a limited amount of scholarships, but if you have a good success in your previous studies, there's a good chance to get one. Next slide. Uh, so here you see the different scholarships that we offer. First, there's the Hanken Premium GPS N scholarship. Um, and that are, especially for students from, from developing countries, we have a list of, of accepted countries and universities that uh, are part of the group that we, we can offer this scholarship to. Um, this scholarship, uh, covers the full tuition fee for two academic years. And in addition, you get uh, 8,000 euros uh, living uh, scholarship for living expenses per, per academic year for two years. Um, then we have the Hanken Honor Scholarship. Uh, this is a scholarship that provides you with full tuition fee waiver for two academic years. And uh, the final, one in the application stage is the Finland, Finland scholarship, uh, which is um, uh, covered by the Ministry of Education and Culture in Finland. Uh, this also gives you a full tuition fee waiver for the first academic year and a 5,000 euro re relocation grant. Um, so if you receive this one, uh, it might be quite interesting that Hanken uh, ourselves, we are offer also a Hanken on our second year scholarship. So if you have a fee waiver for the first year and you uh, manage to complete at least 60 SETS during your first year of enrollment, you will automatically receive the Hanken second year honors scholarship, um, which is for, for then your second year of enrollment. So I think that's a great opportunity, even if you have to pay tuition fees for the first year, you, you can work hard and get the second year honors scholarship quite automatically if you, if you then complete the 60 ECTS that is required. So I think that was all for me. If you have questions, we have our admission email, which is masters at hanken.fi. So please send us an email uh, with additional questions. Of course, we answer also questions now in the end of the session, but uh, now I give over to Aina. Okay, 
Hello, everyone. I did not prepare any slides because I think that I'm going to be talking about my experience as a student, as somebody moving to Finland. So I thought that it's so difficult to put, write that down. It's easier to explain it. So first of all, yes, I'm Aina. I'm from, I'm from Barcelona. I'm from Spain. I moved um, to, to Vasa, to Finland, one year ago. Uh, to study my master's program. I'm studying in Vasa uh, and I majored in, my master is in marketing and management. Um, so as, as Natalia said, I also read about the, the high amounts of coffee that they drink here and it's true and, and I was so excited about the snow in Finland since we don't have so much back home where I'm from and so on. But but I did not only choose Finland for that, that reason. I chose Finland because of the high living standards and, of course, the excellent uh, educational institutions. And, well, I have to say also that the saunas were also something that was very intriguing for me. Um, and then I chose Hanken uh, of all the universities in Finland uh, because Several years ago, when I went on exchange, I met uh, a few friends from Hankin. Uh, I met them and, uh, you know, Finland, the greatest um, educational system you ask, you want to know about. And, and they explained me a bit. They, they told me they were happy. And then uh, when I was looking for places where to study my master's, I, I checked Hankin. Uh, and then I found out that there were programs that were of my interests, both in Vasa and in Helsinki. But I ended up choosing Vasa because I had the possibility to combine both marketing and management. And that option is only available in Vasa, not in Helsinki. And this first year for me was a bit weird. It was all or mostly online. So it was not the best uh, for somebody coming from another country. But this year we have started already going to class where well, everything is on site now. And that's a big change. And it's so much better because you actually get to see your classmates uh, and talk to them other than school stuff that we would do otherwise only online. And, and one of the, I can tell a little bit what has been for me uh, the best things or the things I have liked the most or I still like about Hanken. Um, I would mention, first of all, the fact that I have or we have all the students the freedom to plan our masters. Uh, we can choose all the subjects among all the available ones, uh, some online, most of them on site. Uh, but it's our choice, and, but also our responsibility. So it has like both sides, the freedom, but the responsibility as well. And I also like a lot, uh, at least in Vasa, Hanken is so small. Uh, before I have studied in a huge university where I was numbered U12, 15, 75. And now I'm Hanken, I'm Aina, and my teachers know me and they call me by my name. And, and that's amazing. That's so great. Uh, I really like that. Uh, another thing uh, is also like this very close uh, relationship that we have with teachers. Um, maybe if from the countries you come from, you call teachers by by their surname. Here it doesn't happen. I, ca I call my teachers Peter or Annika or by their name. And, and, and that makes it all ask questions or like ask for help. Um, then another thing is, uh, I think, I don't know if it was Linnea or Natalia maybe mentioned it. It's a research-oriented university. And, and you can definitely see that as a student. We have lots and lots of school, uh, team projects and group projects uh, of research, of uh, trying to find out things by ourselves. And, and that's so good because you get to practice for your master thesis, which is like the final part of your master's. Uh, uh, and you get to do it with a team. So that's great. Uh, also, another thing that I like about Hankin is the fact that um, we don't have that many lectures. 
well, of course, you choose how many subjects you want to take. If you take 20, you will have too many uh, lectures. But if you take the normal amount, which is usually um, four to five subjects per period, um, then you have a few lectures and then most of the study time, it's, it has to be on your own, on your free time, which is good because it lets you, uh, it gives you space to decide when, um, when to sit down and with your computer and start writing or, or having a group meeting or whatever it is. You manage your time and also the workload. You need to organize your, yourself. Uh, so that, that is some of the things that I have enjoyed the most. And, and then I can, about the student life, um, we have a very active student union. Um, I know it's the same in Helsinki. Um, and, and they organize the, all kinds of, of events. They organize parties um, to, by only the student union, which means only maybe people from Honken, but then also with other universities. So you get to do some networking as well with, with people from other universities, but also there are fairs with companies. There are morning coffees uh, with uh, some people from companies come and have uh, coffee in with us and then explain what they do in their department, what are their normal tasks and so on. And there's such a big variety of events that you can't get bored. So there's always something to do. And uh, both VASA and Helsinki are university cities. So in that sense, they are used, people here is used to students and lots of things are built for us students. And that's good because we can take advantage of that and, and enjoy it. And well, that was a little bit my experience. I hope I, I answered some questions. I'm happy to answer many more. And um, yeah, that, that was it. Thank you so much, Aina, Natalia, and Linnea as well for the presentation. Uh, we do have uh, some questions and I saw some very specific ones. So maybe we can start from those. Um, so a um, participant is asking, they completed they ba their bachelor's in the USA with a 3.3 GPA out of four, but they are currently residing in India and they have over eight years of experience in IT. How can they apply for admission and do they need to take the GRE or GMAT uh, if they completed their education in an English speaking country? Okay, so uh, this is quite normal to get, get these this, uh, requirements mixed up. So uh, since you have your bachelor from the USA, you don't need to take a language test uh, since it's one of the countries that we accept uh, a degree from uh, as extending from uh, language tests. However, uh, since USA is not in the EU or EEA, you have to take the GMAT or GRE, which, which is an aptitude test, not a language test. Um, so yeah, so in that way, your GPA is only, it's, it's a good thing to have a high GPA, of course, for admission, because in the academic evaluation, they look at, at uh, your success in your previous studies, but hopefully I, I answered your question. Thank you so much. So we can move to the next question. A participant is asking uh, if they are from Afghanistan and they would like to start they must, their master's degree, if they can apply without having the IELTS score or a TOEFL score, um, and if you offer any uh, scholarships specifically for Afghan people. Um, so, yes, I mean, first of all, yes, you need to take both one of the language tests and uh, GMAT or GRE since. Um, the university is, is from outside the EU. Um, we don't have any specific scholarships for, for Afghan, Af, Afghan people, but um, of course, um, if you have good success in your previous studies, uh, you have a good chance to, to be offered one. So you can apply and, and see if you, you get a scholarship. Um, was there still something that the person asked about? Or, Yes, it was about the admission criteria, but we, we just been through that. So maybe, uh, Linnea, if you want to make a summary at the end, that would be perfect as well. Otherwise, we can just reply. Now. Yeah, I mean, um, so the, re 
requirements consist of the language requirements, so either a language test or then a degree from uh, the six countries that we access, the UK, Ireland, Canada, USA, Australia or New Zealand. Uh, then we have the, the GPA or GMAT or GRE. If your, your degree based which you're applying is from outside the EU, you need to take one of either GMAT or GRE. Uh, if you have a degree, degree from within EU or EA uh, and a GPA that is sufficient enough, depending if you apply through rolling or, or main admission, uh, you are exempted from the GMAT or GRE test. Uh, also in this group is uh, included the Hanken Universities of Part Hanken Universities of uh, Hanken Partner University of Exchange. Sorry. Um, so um, and then you have to have the sufficient amount of uh, studies in economic sciences through the rolling admission that is at least 80 ECTS in in economic sciences and if you apply to the main up admission uh, 30 ECTS that are uh, relevant for the program that you're applying to so if you apply to economics, the studies need to be in economics. Um, hmm, did I forget something, Lucas? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's all. Um, then of course, submit all the required enclosures. Perfect, thank you so much. Um, to stay on the application topic, a participant is asking us in the chat, uh, where can they submit their application and if we can maybe provide them with a link uh, where they uh, can go and, and apply. Yeah. Maybe, Lucas, could you write our, our landing page, uh, uh, hanken.fi slash masters uh, is our landing page. There you find the information about tuition fees and you can click yourself forward to the main or, or rolling admission and there you'll find the application form link to our national application system study info.fi to, to our ac actual um, application. Uh, it's not open yet since the application period has not started for rolling. It's, it starts in about one month and then um, main admission uh, in the end of, of uh, November. So uh, then the uh, link will be activated also for, for the national portal. Perfect. Thank you so much. So Max from Poland is asking us, as he's currently enrolled in high school, uh, and they have a, um, a written exam similar to the SAT in the US, if he has to provide the results of these exams as well. He studied in, in Germany or? In Poland, in Poland. In Poland, oh yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, to fulfill the language requirements when you're so far, this, please note that the, the programs are on master level, so you can't apply directly from high school. Uh, you first need to do a, do a bachelor in, in somewhere else in, in a language. We only offer bachelor in Swedish language at the moment, at least. Um, so uh, yeah, you with a high school, um, um, diploma from Poland, you can't uh, fulfill the language requirement. It has to be from secondary school in USA, Canada, UK, Ireland, Australia, or New Zealand. Thank you so much. So to move to the next questions, as we still have quite a few to answer, uh, a participant is asking, is it possible to take a waiver of the English language requirements, even though they are not from the English-speaking countries? Unfortunately not. This, the requirements are the same for all and we are following the national recommendations that we have concerning language tests here in Finland. So, Thank you so much, Linnea. So uh, a participant is asking what happens when a uh, prospective student gets a partial scholarship and not, uh, for example, only for, um, for one term and not the full term? Can they uh, aspire to get a full funding later on? And how does that work? Uh, I mean, 
I assume they now refer to the Finland scholarship, uh, which is just one year. Uh, the other ones are, are for two years. Um, ex so if you get the Finland scholarship, which is the fee waiver for, for one year, the first year, and then also the 5,000 relocation grant, uh, if you complete 60 ECTS uh, during your first academic year, which is the study base you should have if you want to complete the degree in two years, uh, since the degree is uh, 120 ECTS, so it's half 60. So if you complete 60 ECTS during your first academic year, you'll automatically get the Hanken second year honors scholarship for your second year. So if that you study, great study you will get it. <laughs> that is great news, I'd say. So a participant is asking us if they will receive an email notification when the admissions are open. Uh, we have a application newsletter that you can sign up for uh, on our webpage. Um, and so if you sign up for the newsletter, you'll get all the current information and always be on top of things when, when you need to, need to be. Perfect. So to move on to the other question, a participant is asking if international uh, includes Africa. So if uh, they can share this information with other South Africans who are interested in your um, master programs. Naturally, you, you can always always share the information that uh, about Hanken and that Hanken is a, a great location to, to apply to. Uh, I'm not sure what you you were referring to international uh, in this 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 context. Uh, I mean, if you apply from from uh, an African country, you need to take both the English one of the English language tests and also the GMAT or GRE. Just to be clear. Thank you so much, Lumea. So um, a participant is asking. Uh, what is the minimum criteria to get a full scholarship? So perhaps we can uh, go over that again, as it's one of the most requested um, questions. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, as I said earlier, uh, Hanken uh, gives the scholarship based on previous academic excellence. So that means in, in your previous studies, uh, the studies that you submit the transcript of uh, with your application, uh, if you have great success in your previous studies and also relevant studies, of course, and you are admitted, um, the academic staff evaluate your your application uh, and give you a score. So if you're ranked high in the academic evaluation, uh, you you have a higher chance than to get a scholarship. Uh, now I was talking about the main admission. In the rolling admission, we actually give out scholarships uh, to the first, first comes first served principle. So if you apply early in the rolling admission and you are admitted uh, by filling the requirements, you, you will get a scholarship automatically if there are still left scholarships for the rolling admission. Thank you so much. So a participant from Afghanistan is asking if you also accept a duolingo score as um, English proficiency proof. Unfortunately not. Only the ones that are listed on the slide. Perfect. Thank you so much. So I do see some other questions about the applications and we did just mention that they are still to be open. So they will open in approximately one month and you will be contacted, of course, also by the university and um, you can also apply to their newsletter if you want to, to stay up to date, but you will get an email after this event uh, with the uh, recording. So all the information that has been presented here, uh, you will be able to review it and you will also get the link to get in touch with the um, Hanken School of Economics. So to move to the final questions, because I would like to, to ask Aina a couple of questions as well. Uh, a participant is, um, is asking if it's possible to study um, a, a master's at Hanken, but uh, in a field that's not economics, and they are a non-EU citizen. So do you offer any masters that are, that are not e economics related? Thank you so much. Well, I can answer that question. Um, 
economics related you can you study your masters in business administration and economics and then you can specialize like in one area like myself i'm specializing in marketing and management others accounting others finance but they are all somehow related to economics and uh, business administration and you said also about it, uh, uh, working while studying yes yes that was one of the questions and i wanted to to ask you about that aina so if you can perhaps tell us more about your experience or if you happen to work while studying if you know other peers of yours who are doing that Mm, it's it's quite common to to work while while you study during your masters and many most of us do it part time because full time would not be possible um however i'm doing it myself and i've noticed that it's not so easy so maybe i would not recommend it for somebody like moving to a new country the first year, first uni uh, starting in a new university. So maybe once you get going, then you can take up a job and start something else. But uh, at the beginning, it's a lot to take in. So maybe I would wait a, a little bit. That is my recommendation. Uh, I, myself, I did not uh, work uh, last uh, year during my studies, but this year I felt like I could do it. And, and, and it's going so far so good. So it's a matter also about being organized and, <laughs> and also prioritizing the studies because sometimes it might happen that you take up on work and then you leave your studies behind. And well, at least that's not my goal at all. I want to finish my, my master's degree in two years. So if you want to do that, you need to prioritize your studies always, even though you, are, you might be working part-time. I could add to that that as EU citizens, uh, you have a unlimited working right, but for EU non-EU citizens, you can work on average 30 hours a week uh, beside your studies. Thank you both so much, Maya, please. Yeah, I was going to add something to what Linnea said. It, it's actually, uh, you can work full time if it's somehow related to your studies. Uh, but if it's not related to your studies, it's 30 hours a week, even if you are an EU citizen. Yeah. Thank you so much, Aina. So to, to stay on your student experience, I wanted to ask you, what does your typical day look like? And if you enjoy any activities outside of class or if you have any hobbies that are related to, you know, uh, your studies or uh, something else. Thank you so much. Mm, yeah, well, that's a fun question, I think. Um, myself, uh, my days are very different. Sometimes I have, uh, some days I have classes so, or lectures, some other days I don't. Uh, as I said, uh, for example, now at the moment, my Mondays are crazy. I have so many lectures on Mondays, but then Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I, I don't have anything. So on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I work part time. And then the rest of the day, I uh, work on my homework pro projects that we might have uh, in, in the several subjects I'm taking at the moment. So it, it's a combination of, of, of all those. And then about my hobbies, um, I've been always a basketball player, so I'm now here in Finland a coach for a young team of girls. And well, I was a bit worried about the language. With some of you might wonder that as well. And but you know, my girls are now 12 years old, and they speak perfect English. And so I think that if 12 year olds speak perfect English and they can understand me when when we are training, they can like. Uh, Everyone can understand you anytime. So if that is something that you are thinking about when moving to Finland, that is just forget it. It's not something to worry about. And well, something that I could mention talking about languages is the fact that in, in Finland, there's two official languages, Finnish and Swedish. And here in Vasa, Swedish is very important as much as Finnish, maybe in other parts of Finland. Swedish is barely used, uh, but here it's very important. So most of the population here is bilingual. They speak both. And myself, I'm studying Swedish at Hanken 
And I have to say that's my favorite subject. It's so fun. And I feel like I, I've learned so much uh, during just uh, this one year only that I have been here. I, everyday conversations you can understand and, and you feel that you are improving. That's also very motivation, motivating. So I definitely recommend taking up on a new language. Thank you so much, Aina. So one last question for you. If you could choose how can I get, would you do it? Uh, and if yes, why yes? I would choose how can I get, definitely. Um, well, I'm not done yet. I still have a whole year ahead of me. So, uh, but I would, it has been so good, such a big contrast to what I was used to. I met amazing people. I've learned so much. I feel like in Hanken, I'm much more connected to, to the business world than I was before in my previous university. Uh, we go to company visits. We have people coming much more often than what I was used to and uh, from, from companies to visit us in, in, in class, in the schools, having lectures, giving their experience. And, uh, and I feel so much connect much more connected as I said to the business world and I think that's so important because that we are in a business school so <laughs> it should be that way for sure thank you so much Aina so we do have a couple more questions that are coming in so Hamed is asking if uh, admissions are affected by the um, country of origin and by the diplomatic relationships between the two countries so the country of origin and uh, Finland in this case, and uh, if Han can provide any certification courses like the uh, Association of Chartered Certified Accountants and, and similar certificates. Um, I mean, Han can, uh, doesn't discriminate based on, on um, citizenship, uh, religion or whatever, so uh, everyone can apply. Um, the requirements are, are different for the non-EU and um, EU uh, citizens to some part. Um, and um, we don't have any, any uh, ACCA, uh, this Association of Certified, cert 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 Chartered Certified Accountants. I'm familiar with that, but it's not something we you need to have a bachelor's degree in order to apply or, or a master's degree. So, um, yeah, Thank you so since, much, since the, the, the certificates are not really uh, uh, done by a recognized university, courses offered by a recognized university. Thank you so much for the information. Thank you so much, Aina. Natalia, for your presence here tonight. I just want to thank also all the participants that have stuck with us till the end. Uh, it's much appreciated. And of course, I hope that this event was useful for everyone involved. Uh, we hope that we inspired you to, uh, to get to know more about Hanken, more about Finland, and to why not choose this as your next uh, study destination. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you, can, um, you can review this presentation. You will get an email uh, in a couple of days at most. So uh, if you missed any information, do not worry. Uh, you can also request the certificate of, of attendance by Doc City, and I will pop the link in the chat now. Of course, um, it's um, released by Doc City, so if you'd like to, to have that, you can just fill in the survey, and we'll be happy to provide you with uh, with this certificate. So, of course, uh, if you have any further questions about the application process, um, you will also get the email uh, address of the admissions office in the email that we'll send you. So you'll have all the information necessary to, to apply and to stay in touch with Hanken. So once again, uh, I thank all of you for being here, here with us tonight. And thank you all for, um, for being here, here, also from Hanken's side, of course. Uh, I just copy pasted the link to the uh, Hanken website where you will be able to browse all the masters and just get to know more about the university. So of course, once again, thank you so much. Uh, I wish everyone a very nice evening and I hope to see you again, hopefully for the next event with Hamken. Thank you so much. See you thank next you. time. Bye. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Bye.